Look at Woo! the dream. That's what I like to hear. Living the dream, baby. I am too. <laughs> Living a pretty damn good dream too, thanks to y'all. Yes. Thanks to people like you, man. It's uh I have a question for you to get started. Yeah. I know you just bought a house. Yes. And we want to come to your house for a party is one of these address after <laughs> Hamburgers and hot dogs. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is like our fourth or fifth time doing this. <clears throat> what I wanted to do with this is uh, set up a little deal after the show, obviously, where some of the, I guess, more real fans actually get to come in and the people that really listen to our music dive into it and want to actually get to know more about us can come in and ask questions or if there's songs that are on the record that we didn't get to play tonight uh, if we can play them I'd more than happily play them if there's stuff that I'd usually play like some cover stuff online that you didn't get to hear tonight uh, we'd love to play that as well we're gonna play a couple of songs and answer as many questions as we can before we have to roll on out of here but, uh, <clears throat> I didn't get to play this tonight but it's one of my favorite George Strait songs it's not what everybody thinks. A couple people probably hear me say one of my favorite George Strait songs, like this woman right here. <laughs> I play a lot of George Strait songs. They're all my favorites. <laughs> Still feel 25. I still raise a little with them boys. I'll be tongs and pretty women. Lord, I'm still right there with them. Singing above the crowd. Sometimes I feel like Jesse James. Still trying to make a name. Nothing's gonna change what I am. I was a young troubadour when I wrote in on a song. I'll be an old troubadour when I'm gone. Well, the truth about a mirror that that. It's really no reflection of my you. Sometimes I feel like Jesse James, still trying to make a name, knowing nothing's gonna change what I am. Well, everybody. 
everybody talks about the California quest. The first time I ever felt the earth shake was in Miami. When Amy touched me, oh, it shook me. I told her love and I wanted to stay. She said, be sure and I'll call you in LA. And even in a taxi, I could hear my telephone ring calling me from Miami Miami What took you so long I thought you'd never come Miami Oh Miami Miami, Miami, you love me after all. Well, Amy just called and said, please come back. He said, I'm on my way, babe. I ain't even on the path. I want you to love me. That's all she had to say. Goodbye, LA. Now, once again, I'm Miami Bam. Can't wait till this plane touches down. Cause I know Miami will be waiting at that Miami game. Oh, I can't wait, Miami. Miami. What took you so long? I thought you'd never call Miami. Oh, Miami. Miami, Miami, love me after all. Miami. George Strait and Keith Whitley and Merle Haggard and George Jones in a time you know, get me wrong, I love this too, but in a time where R. Kelly and Usher and you know, shit like that was going on in high school or you know, junior high. Uh, times when I was growing up, you know, so I was the kid that went to school in Wranglers and Boots while everybody else had, you know, cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> I had the tractor supply boots and Tractor supply rank. Could have been happy. Some of us live in tractor supply. Uh, this, this young lady's getting married next Saturday. Uh uh. Yes. Yes. You have to be me, but. Oh, yes, sir. You gotta brag about that. Now. Look at that woman. I'll brag about that shit all night. One love song, your choice. I don't care what it is, but for her to get married to this stud. <laughs> Well, I can see that you're humble. Yes. <laughs> you got a nice... She told me I wasn't doing it. <laughs> also, it was a dare. I yeah, yeah. Saying she don't love you, she's just lonely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said friend. Don't take it. <laughs> It was no accident Me finding you Singing to her, not you <laughs> Someone had a hand in it Long before we ever knew Now I just came As I look at you 
tonight So I tip my hand To the keeper of the stars He sure knew what he was doing He joined these two to the keeper of the stars. Soft moonlight on your face. Oh, how you shine. It takes my breath away. When I look into your eyes. I know I don't deserve a treasure like you. There really are no words to show my gratitude. Tip my hand to the keeper of the stars. He sure knew what he was doing when he joined these two hearts. I hold everything when I hold. start there, but I mean, uh, professionally speaking, started six years ago when I signed with Warner Brothers, but I guess I've been singing ever since I can remember. I uh, got my first guitar when I was about 12, 13. I just kind of uh, entombed myself, I don't know if that's the word or not. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I surrounded myself with kind of music like Merle Haggard, Keith Whitney, George Jones, like I talked about. Um, and that's how I learned how to sing. I mean, that's how I taught myself how to sing. I taught myself how to play and sing by listening and watching YouTube videos of those cats live or some of their music. Or, and I was lucky enough by the grace of God and some of the contacts that I made down here on, on earth that to be able to do this. Would you actually like go out to different places and start singing? <coughs> oh, for sure. I mean, I didn't. I, you know, I wasn't the little Walmart kid, but I was, <laughs> but I was, like, I was a Kroger guy. That's that before they really started posting. So uh, if you check out MySpace, my videos on there. Is it still around? Uh, yes, I did, though, to, uh, to be serious with you. Yes, I did. I just kind of would play anywhere that they let me play. If they'd pay us 100 bucks, we'd get up there for 100 bucks. If they'd pay us $2, we'd get up there for $2. Typically, they'd give us free beer, but I wasn't old enough to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take advantage. <laughs> Any more questions? I'm hoping this happens. You know you. me more than anybody here. I know that. <laughs> but I've never asked you this. All right. I know. Well, I'm hoping that it happens someday. Yeah, man. And if it does or when it does, if you ever got inducted to as a member of the Grand Ole Opry, who would you want to induct you? And, and, and a lot of people say anybody because it's just a... Well, I mean, uh, I mean, if I did have the choice, <laughs> right. uh, which I don't think you do, but if I did have the choice, uh, let me first say, man, the Grand Ole Opry's been really good to yeah. us. We've played there, I think, 53 wow. or 54 times yeah. Yeah. in the past two years. So wow. they've been That's really good to us. And we, I would like to think that they think that we've been good to them as well. You know, we do a lot of stuff with them. Uh, it just seems like a good uh, cross brand for us. You know? <clears throat> but... Besides all the political answers, I've wanted just like every other singer in the world since I was five years old, like every other damn singer out there, wanted to play on the Grand Ole Opry. And when I got to do that, man, I got my mom and dad to come up. My, my grandma, who's passed away now, and uh, my whole family came up. And I just still see that, man. I still see when I look out there every time I play, believe it or not, as cheesy as it sounds, I still see my family sitting right there. It gives me chills almost talking about it because maybe I miss my grandma, but uh, yeah, I still see them every time I play. Look out there and they're right there. So I know they're with me. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I guess to answer your question, though, hell, I, anybody. Jeannie <laughs> <laughs> Seeley or Charlie Pride or John Conley. Yeah. Uh, Larry Gatlin. <laughs> and those aren't just anybody. No, those are everybody. Those are, those are big, big right. somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two questions. Yeah. Can I have your pick? <laughs> yeah. it's the last one I got, so anybody yes. just letting you know. Questions. What's what's like do you have like Oops. your next aspiring goal like to record with somebody or play with somebody or do I just some, met do a big goal. Or what's, like, I just had a really big goal that I met. I wanted to record somebody that I looked up to, that I grew up listening to. And I grew up listening to John uh, John and Daryl uh Hall and Oaks a lot. So we would just went in and we played it tonight. There's a song called Tonight Girl that we're really excited about. Love it. We've been playing it out. We just got it back. The mix is back. And you know, we're really excited about it. Not saying that that's going to be our first single, but it's going to be. <laughs> it's a good song. We're excited about it. So um, I got them to come. Oh, I got uh, John Oates to come in and sing on that song. So that was a really, really that's cool thing. That was really cool for me to be able to experience that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to do some stuff with George Strait or, yeah, I was, I was or you know, uh, Alan Jackson, uh, Casey Musgrave, man. I 
don't know if you guys have heard that new record. No, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Jared Thompson might change your country. That's Jared nice. Thompson, man, I love that guy. I really <laughs> love that guy. If she wasn't She's getting engaged, I'd move out. She's fine. You print that. She, 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 she says a bunch of good things about you. You print so. that. Because <laughs> y'all played together in Florida. We played a few, few yeah, times together. Yeah. A few times together, yeah. One time I remember, man, it was so bad. It rained all day long. You weren't there, were you? Yeah, well, you drove her in the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, yeah, that's right. I rode the back of the truck too there, buddy. Don't count me out. Don't you count me out. <laughs> count me out. <laughs> so I guess you could say we was in the bed together. <laughs> Damn, I should have had that on video. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hell yeah, let's get some pictures going, man. All right. You're awesome, man. We'll line up against this thank wall you, and.